So let's do a quick example that puts things like position and displacement into context. As you're walking down a forest path, you see a tree growing right in the middle of the path. Suddenly, a rabbit appears two meters to the left of the tree. After darting one meter to the right, then three meters to the left, he rests four meters to the right of the tree as you walk by. What was the position of the rabbit after each motion? What was the distance traveled? What was its final displacement? So here you can see that it's important that we make a distinction between our terms of distance, displacement, and position. So let's start with the first question, the position after each motion. Position, of course, needs a reference point. How far away from what? Remember, position is a vector, so it also is going to need a direction. So let's say that we are going to measure from the tree as a reference point. That way we can have a direction from the tree and we can have a distance from the tree, which is going to be our position. So after darting one meter to the right, well, after what? He appears two meters to the left of the tree. Now this might get confusing. Always make a habit of drawing a little diagram for physics. Doesn't have to be fancy. I can't draw fancy rabbits either. So, but get the basics on there. So here's our tree. Our rabbit appears two meters to the left of the tree. So here's our rabbit. Starts two meters to the left of the tree. Then he darts one meter to the right. Then he darts three meters to the left. And he rests four meters to the right of the tree. So he's going way over here. And this ends up being four meters to the right of the tree. So a quick sketch is really all you need. But now we can mark his position at every point. So he starts off at two meters to the left of the tree. Well, let's just put that as his starting point. So two meters to the left of the tree. His next position is after darting one meter to the right. Well, that puts him at, of course, two minus one, one meter to the right of the tree. He then darts three meters to the left. So three plus one, he's gonna end up at four meters to the left of the tree. And then he rests four meters to the right of the tree. Well, then that's where he rests at four meters to the right of the tree. So that answers our first question about the position of the rabbit after each motion. So let's move on to the second question, the distance traveled. Well, the total distance traveled is going to just be a matter of adding up all the distances of his darts, of his individual darting around. So it does not matter that he started two meters away from the tree. He darted one meter to the right, so that was motion. He darted three meters to the left. Let's also make a habit of keeping units with all of our information. And now he darted such that he ended up four meters to the right. Well, remember, at the point before that, that he was at four meters to the left. He ended up four meters to the right. So that was a total of an eight meter motion. So then that means when we add those up, we get he moved a total of 12 meters. Notice that the distance does not have any direction with it. Distance is a scalar. And lastly, let's look at his displacement. So displacement is symbolized with a change in position. Change, a D, and an arrow. Let's just fill in what the other symbol should be. So position is a D with an arrow. Distance is just a D. And displacement is a change in position. Well, displacement now means how far did the rabbit move? It doesn't care where the tree was anymore. The change in position. Well... He started two meters to the left of the tree. He ended four meters to the right of the tree. Displacement doesn't care what happened in between. So we can easily see that from two meters to the left, where he started, to four meters to the right, where he ended, means he must have been displaced a total of six meters. Which direction was that? Well, to the right. Now let's be a little bit careful here. Two meters to the left means he was two meters to the left of the tree. And four meters to the right, his final position was also of the tree. But this six meters to the right means of his original position. So just keep that in mind. 
he was displaced, the rabbit was displaced six meters to the right. Now, that's easy to see in a simple example like this. It uses easy numbers and you could draw an easy diagram, but how could we do something like this mathematically? Well, first of all, mathematically, we're gonna have to turn right and left into positive and negative. So let's just see how would we do this mathematically. So let's let right be positive. That means he started at a position of negative two meters from the tree. He ended at a position of positive four meters from the tree. And we're wondering his displacement, how far he moved in total. Well, how do you get negative two and positive four to equal six? We're just gonna try to develop our formula here. Well, somehow you need to do four plus two equals six, but there, we have a negative two. So we could do four minus a negative two equals six. And, and that's in theory what we need to do, which develops for us our formula for displacement. We can say that our, a formula for displacement for the change in position equals the final position. So we denote that with position with the subscript F minus the initial position. So position with a subscript of I for initial. Change in position, in other words, displacement, equals final position minus initial position. And this becomes our formula for displacement. So I hope this clarifies the difference between distance and displacement and position, and also gives us a formula to work mathematically with the idea of displacement.